Older colleagues may have conveyed their sheer envy through the beatdown, but there was ultimately nothing they could do to stop this talented teenager's rise. March 2002 saw Haruma, then still named Ama, win all seven bouts and face Onomatsu man Midori Fuji, no connection to his future stablemate, in a fourth division title playoff. In front of a packed final day house, Ama won by left overarm throw to seal his second divisional title, both now claimed in Osaka. The Dohyo shone more than usual that afternoon, he recalls, and I afterwards learned that they brightened the lights once the second division referees make their entrance. A year before, he'd likely been too inexperienced to notice. The following May saw Haruma rise to the top 15 of Division 3, still weighing just 88 kilos. In a bout often replayed on NHK, he began life at that level with defeat to a university champion 50 kilos heavier. Narita was the man's real name, he would later become Takekaze. With just eight tournaments under my belt, I had little confidence at that level, and thought it would be something just to win once, he writes. In fact, he won twice, but still had to deal with a first professional losing score. The calibre of foe had risen no end, and despite dropping 12 rungs for July, he posted two wins and five losses again. But at his stable's post-event party, Japanese supporters encouraged him in their customary manner. You can be pleased to have come such a long way in a short time. Just give it a little longer. These are words uttered by seniors to juniors in companies nationwide every day, and seem to underpin the seniority system. Unlike his corporate counterpart, though, sumo wrestler Haruma Fuji was free to quickly improve his lot. Now adjusted to Division 3 demands, he no longer balked at the weight difference and approached September 2002 with relish. With each cycle of the daily routine, training, chanko, midday nap, I felt myself growing stronger, he says. And obvious improvement in my Japanese likely added to my in-ring confidence. He began that September with three straight wins, and finished with five overall. A first winning score in Division 3, and the journey to salaried status resumed. On his 18th birthday five months prior, he'd been treated to a night out in the luxury bars of Ginza by stable senior Aso Fuji, brother of Aminishiki. Surrounded by gorgeous drinks and women, he felt doubly impelled to quickly gain that salary and the freedom to visit Ginza whenever he liked. By now, with the fervent support of his coach, he was really crystallizing his style. Take the front of the belt and get your head in his chest, Ajigawa would shout in practice, and Haruma would obey, writing, If he told me to do it, I'd do it a hundred times a day, until it became so natural it could be done with my eyes closed. Coach also told me not to view my weight as a weakness, to go in hard at the tachi ai, and not limit myself to the grapple. I should thrust as well. Mastery of those principles gave young Ama five winning scores from January to September 2003, taking him to the division's highest rank for November. The opening day saw me join the Division 2 schedule for the first time for a match with Toano Yama, but I sadly lost by crushout, he tells us. I won three in a row after that, and was just one win away from a salary. But my last three bouts kind of bombed, and I ended up with four defeats. One extra win on his part might have changed the course of sumo history, preventing a certain Hakuho from going up in his place. But I wasn't so down about it, he now insists. The salaried men at my stable kept saying I'd soon be among them, as did the salaried guys I regularly fought at Ichimon group practice. Their recognition of my growing strength gave me confidence. I've always been the type to respond well to praise. Two months later, and still aged just 19, he'd respond impressively 
again.